Welcome. We are us, and this is. You guessed it. This is Enderal Forgotten Stories. Now, you may notice we're in a different place than we left off last time. You know how it is here. I. I wander. I don't think I did all that much, though. I think I just came out here, and that's pretty much it. Regardless, I don't remember if that's true or not, so we're just going to show you where we currently are. I've decided that since this place is marked and I would like to keep using the mark for other things in the future, why not go and visit these folks? At least to get them off the list, if nothing else. Oh, he's got himself another Cuthbert. Max Tobacus. You? I was hoping you'd come by. <laughs> I, I suppose I owe you many thanks. Here, Aurora gave me this. Summon Cuthbert. She channeled Cuthbert. <laughs> I'm no archivist, but maybe you can use this. Oh, please let me summon a giant pig. Again, please. How you? Things would have been different. Hey. It's nothing, but, uh, what are your plans? Well, we'll have to see. The truth be told, I'm sick of drunk miners and tavern ballers. We might just plant our little garden out there and try to live off our own food. This time, we'll need a good barrier spell, though. <laughs> Red madness, bone rippers, batters. I don't even want to think about it. I don't even want to think about it. Hey, I understand that. What? A pig per level, I guess. Oh, Maxis. No, only on the first two. Okay. Hey, buddy. Ooh, she can brew us stuff? <laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> what do you need? Oh, let's see what you have to offer. Ambrosia. I will take this. I don't know how many cure disease potions I have left. I can make them easy. Oh, I've got plenty. I can make them easy enough, so I'm not worried about that. Oh yeah, we need these. Oh yeah. Yeah, these two. Hmm. I'm vaguely starting, I'm beginning to remember what we did after we ended the video yesterday. Or I'm mixing that up and I did that. No, I'm pretty sure that was after I ended the video. Maybe. Anyway, I don't think we need anything else from her. I would like the potions, but I'm running low on cash. I've got plenty of stuff to sell, but some of it I'd like to keep. I wish she had a freaking scroll that brought me back out here. I do need wine. You know me too well. Wait. I just want one to eat so I know what that other effect is. Nothing special, and I know the highest rank of that already, so we can go. Now, what we need to do is finish the quest that we've got going with Sharim. That hurt more than I thought it would. 
Though I expected it would hurt pretty badly. It is pretty high. Okay, so. What we need to do now is rest somewhere for two days. I don't think we have any options around here for that. Right? The ship is this way. It's really bugging me that I don't remember what I did after I ended the video yesterday. Or, this is going up Tuesday, so it's not yesterday. Wait, no, yeah, I did record. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely going up Tuesday, and I recorded yesterday. I'm recording this on Friday. This is the fourth of the four videos I typically record on this day. If you weren't aware, I upload two videos over the course of the weekend, one on Saturday and one on King's... Nope, you can stay there. If it was King's Mead, yeah, I'd have picked that up. As I was saying, I record four videos on Friday, two of which go up on Saturday. Well, one goes up Saturday, one goes up Sunday, and the other two go up on Tuesday. I'm looking for a bed right now, so that's why I'm wandering around here still. Just something... Dang it. Something I can borrow really quickly. <sighs> we'll have to go back to Ark then. This week we have, well, last week. Last Saturday and Sunday, we had, on Saturday, we had Scarlet Nexus. The first episode. The second one went up before this one did. And on Sunday, as usual, near Replicant. Jeez. I almost got distracted and said Automata. We need to go to... Yeah, let's, it's better off, better for just an arc already anyway. So let's go there. Hear my words. <sighs> oh, path abiding people. Are okay, so I vaguely aware, I'm vaguely aware of what I did last time I recorded a video, well, at the end of yesterday's recording. I changed my armor a little bit. Good lord, let's put an end to all of that jibber-jabber. We're basically wearing some of the sket of the set of the Skarag. Some of these pieces we picked up, well, this one I'm pretty sure we got from the place we were just at with Sharim in the last video. The rest of these pieces I've already had. This I was using just because it, I was holding on to because it increases handicraft. I can get up to... What? Oh, I'm moving... That doesn't make sense. Why am I moving slow now? I'm not overweight. Oh, there it is. I hit the cap lock, the caps lock button. <clears throat> Okay, so we picked up a book from Master Tobacchus. Where is that? Oh, it's not my inventory. Hmm, there it is. Summon a deadly spirit piglet. I have to. I just have to. And it's only rank one. Where the frick do you... How? What? What? There's... There are higher ranks for... Summon Cuthbert? Summon. Summon... There it is. Let's see. Summon, summon, summon. Summon the world's deadliest piglet on goes here. We'll hold on to that and we'll use that as soon as possible. First, we need to go to sleep for a couple of days. I've got nothing else to do. <sighs> okay. 
let's see, make sure that we have... This also, what are we using? Right, I gave one of the... Oh great, he's not even here. One of the things I did that day... Huh. Is... Re-equip our buddy here, Pete. Currently... You see that green glow? He's using our paralysis axe. Because I prefer to have him knocking down enemies while I execute them. And oh, it's just so good. I haven't used it yet, of course, but... Oh, there he is. There you are. Very well. But I'm looking forward to the results. Nice place, isn't it? While the Neremis are in front of our gates, the people down here are bashing each other's heads in, and the crowd is cheering them on. Hmm, I get his point. His point is that, you know, we have bigger problems right now. What are you doing down here? But, I mean, they're basically down here because the people up top say, it's, screw you, you're pathless, go down into the dumps where you belong. You can't really look down on people like that. They're not down here because they want to be. I mean, of course, there's, uh, what's his face, Jaspar. He's down here because he wants to be, but nobody cares about that guy. So yeah, this is the this is the answer I prefer. For a lot of the people down here, it's their only it's the only way out of their misery. Possibly. Be that as it may, I finished reconstructing the planeswalker. It was expensive and arduous, but the result turned out better than expected. So uh, where is it? In a safe place. Come along. From the upper city, huh? You got guts walking around with all that stuff down here. My sir. My sir. You wanna put a move on or Wait. Seriously? You know what? I'm not going to wait for this guy if I don't have to. Do I have to? Probably. Based on the fact that he was still on the other side of that door. But hope springs eternal. I expect to be wrong, but I hope nonetheless.
creeping from every corner down here, don't they? There's no the reason way, here it is. for pus beetles the to be down here. Worker. And so this thing can transport us into other realities, right? Correct. But in order for it to do that, we need to activate it first. See those three crystal fragments worked into the casing? Uh, I'm trying. Just give me a minute. My neck only goes so far. Okay, let's pretend I do. Well observed. Essentially, the planeswalker creates a distortion in reality. Imagine the following. When you cast a fireball, this fireball is coming from another eventuality, correct? Accelerated heat you conjure right into your fingertips. While you're doing this, there's a brief moment in time where the door between this eventuality and our world stands ajar. Okay, I understand that. Good. The problem is that this rift normally exists for only a split second. And this is where the planeswalker comes into play. It maintains the rift the moment we create it. Okay, so we need to cast a spell in order to create a rift and the planeswalker will keep it open. Yes. I will cast the spell, but I will need to borrow from your strength. You'll see why. Okay. So when do we start? In a moment. Once the rift is open, we'll only have a limited amount of time, so three things in advance. First of all, according to Dalmaric, planeswalking is extremely dangerous. <laughs> And how on earth could that be? Well, he thinks that an eventuality recognizes irregularities after a certain amount of time and corrects them. In other words, massive arcane fever and a brain hemorrhage. So we'll have very little time over there. Secondly, the further an eventuality is located from our strand, the less time we can stay in it. Realities in which Vin doesn't even exist would correct us the moment we step through the rift. <laughs> so, is there any way to counteract the correction? Like with Ambrosia? I doubt it. Trying to counteract an eventuality with Ambrosia is probably as helpful as putting a warm compress around your neck after someone has decapitated you. I appreciate the visual on that. So, how far can we go from our eventuality? How should I know? One would have to experiment to find that out. And considering what's at stake, I think that's a bad idea. Truly. What else? Well, let me put it this way. I'd actually prefer to go through the rift by myself. But knowing you, I doubt you'd stay behind. But, and this is important, once we're there, please don't follow me. Look around, explore the area, do whatever you feel like doing. But let me carry out my task in peace. Please. <sighs> Don't mind me, I'm just deciding if I should go along with what he's saying or not. Because frankly, there's no other reason for me to be there, other than to make sure he's not trying any funny business. Granted, there's no reason per se not to trust him, I just don't trust him. We'll pretend, we'll pretend we agree with him for now. Good. Now let's waste no more time, shall we? Here, take this and cast it at my command. Do it from... Mm, wait. Yes, from over there. Let's begin. First off, Kivash. It, it worked by the name of the sun. Don't don't mind the quick save. I'm not planning anything strange. <laughs> 
I have no idea why I said strange. It, it actually worked. So, uh, where are we? Guy I can't see? Hira. The Siras Islands. A few miles from the shore near Al Rashim. You feel it too, don't you? The fever? Yeah, it's different, isn't it? More intense. It is. It must be the eventuality trying to correct us, just as Dalmarek said it would. In other words, the clock is ticking. So what now? What are you going to do? Look for someone. Prophet. Thank you. I know I'm not the easiest person to get along with, but this... It means a lot to me. Give me ten minutes, will you? Take a look around, do what you will, but be careful. Okay. Ten minutes. Yes. You will. So, uh... To be perfectly fair, my my interest in following him is less about trust and more about curiosity. I hate the idea of just standing around while someone does something they want and they don't tell me what it's all about. Had he told me to be in the beginning, I probably still wouldn't have trusted him anyway. Uh, I need silence, right? Let's hear... If I really intended to follow him, I would have put on a whole bunch of stealth equipment. I've got a ton of it, so it wouldn't have been an issue, but maybe there's something of interest here for me. I saw a tower back where we started that might end, end up turning into something. This one. Our buddy Pete killed something. <gasps> A thing! And magical leather. Can I get glowing thorium here? I mean, magical thorium. Heck, I need thorium in general just to upgrade the armor I'm wearing. It is a lot harder to come across Scarag armor than you would initially think. There has to be something else of interest. Hopefully Seven Things is, a, is actually really useful for me. I'm doing a lot of quick saving to make sure that if we really are on a forced time limit, I can come back and explore in a different direction. There's a pier out there. There we are. Hmm. Oh, I don't want to be here. He said, half truthfully. 
I'm more interested in what's behind it. figured as much. And you know, I'm thinking that we could also use this thing to check, or at least find out who killed Lashari, but that would involve actual time travel, not reality travel. Which, this, that's what this is. We're not traveling through... I saw at the very last second that it said it was empty. Here we are anyway. Mm, it's on this hill, right? Yeah, that seems fine. So, uh... Don't mind me, just checking for extra treasure. I doubt there's anything else here, though. We've been all over this island. And so... I'm going to go ahead and quick save, hoping that that... Arcane Fever I just got hit with <laughs> isn't going to be permanent. I liked it. What do you think, love? It was magnificent. We'll make a great bard out of you yet. Really? Really. And you know what? Because you did so well, I'll tell you a secret. What is it? It's a secret, so I can only tell you and not Mommy. Come over here and I'll tell you. Hey, that's not fair. Nothing in the world is fair, love. So, Princess, what do you say? Mm, okay. Just a little closer. A secret. The Tickle Monster is hungry again! <laughs> <sighs> you too. Do you want to know another secret? The little princess is way past her bedtime already. And That's she a knows strange it bedtime. Because I have told her before. Alright, alright, I'm going. Look how she's grown. Time really does fly, doesn't it? No argument there. I'll finish the letter, okay? You go upstairs and get some sleep. You've earned it. Okay. Don't be too long, all right? Don't worry, I won't. Hey, I love you. <sighs> well, now I'm bored. Oh, hey, look at that. 
Just a little extra sauce on this pasta, huh? Since we know he's not up to anything snaky, at least so far as I'm aware. There's no real problem in waiting for him, but uh, we also can't afford to wait forever. While I'm thinking about it, I should probably put that blueprint in my collection before I accidentally sell that freaking thing. I mean, I'll realize how valuable it is the moment I see it, and I shouldn't click on it, but that doesn't mean there won't be accidents. Just to be safe. I love you too, Maya. <laughs> I'm just figuring maybe we should approach this guy from a direction he won't expect. Meanwhile, Pete murders the denizens of the land. <sighs> ah, great. Uh, you know we need to go, right? Where were you? We said ten minutes. Uh, yes. Forgive me. You know we're running out of time, right? You know, the fever? Yes. Yes, I do. What are you doing? We need to get out of here. Huh. I'm afraid I've changed my mind. I'm staying. You know that's just not an option, right? We've still got things to do. Not touching. My daughter. My wife. Maya. The man that world out there made me into. I never wanted to be like him. All I wanted was to live a normal life, like the Juzlan of this world gets to. But that's just the way of things. The world doesn't care what you want. It decides. We endure.
so you lost your wife and daughter in our world? Yes, I did. What happened? Does it matter? They're gone. Dead. Buried under the sand of the Red Desert. End of story. So now you want to stay here and die. Is that it? Not here. I don't want them to find my body. How touching. I have I have put some extra points into rhetoric, but I doubt it'll be high enough to affect anything. That's not going to stop me from trying. I just wish I had had the forethought to use a charisma potion. But what can you do? I'm going to invest a little bit in rhetoric, but I still have other things that I'd like to do with the... what are they? What did they call them? Anyway, with those points. So, <clears throat> here we go. And what if Dalmeric was wrong? Oh, don't even bother. Dang I it. I've made up my mind. Huh. So, we only have these two options to actually go with, and I don't foresee any either of them actually influencing him in any way. Hmm. And it's true, I could just force him to go with me, but... I can see ways that can go terribly, terribly wrong. Nothing specific, just a general sense. So I kind of have to go with this first one. <laughs> and so what? You think this is what they would have wanted? For you to just give up and die somewhere alone in a strange world? In pain, no less, because it, you're not going to go out easily. Uh, spare me the pathos. The dead are dead, and what they would have wanted is irrelevant. Though it might amuse you to know that, until recently, I would have agreed with you. But that was before I saw this. It opened my eyes. And so we are left with but one singular option. We have to take you back by force. And you'll have to force me. This Lin doesn't seem to move at first glance, but you can see that his chest is moving slowly. He seems to be unconscious. What do you want to do? It... Uh, never mind. I'll When I was running around, I didn't see Yuslin, or uh, Sharim, that Yuslin is his name. Anyway, I didn't see Sharim. I don't have the key, naturally. So he must have been somewhere closer to the house than I was. That's that, I guess. My idea, my thought, line of thought here was that I was just going to let them find him. 
Frankly, it may have done him some good to actually speak with these people, but... Apparently that's not an option. You're all right. I'm sorry. I, I don't know what got into me. At the very least, I'm glad you came back to your senses. Yes, so am I. The house, their voices, it was simply too much to bear. I must ask your forgiveness. So before you even went, did you know what you'd find there? Of course I did. But why? Why put yourself through that? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I thought it would help me to see them. Provide closure. Or maybe it was just the desire to see what might have been. As painful as it was. You've also lost people. Wouldn't you have done the same? Not really. Aside from our buddy at the very beginning, there hasn't been anyone that we've really lost, right? I mean, Jaspar doesn't count. He did that to himself. Ah, uh, hmm. I mean, at the very least, I can understand your line of thinking. Just as I thought. Naya was your wife, right? Why are you still talking to her? I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I do not want to talk about it. You've learned much about me in these past few hours. Leave me this last bit of privacy as a refuge. Okay. perfectly honest if it hadn't been for the fact that we actually need you I'd have let I'd have let you die hmm probably not actually it wouldn't have made it wouldn't make any sense to leave him there just it's it's it would have been dumb to leave him there to die it just wasn't an option regardless of the fact that he's necessary here in one capacity or another so instead, hmm, yeah, it's the only option. His selfishness could have put this entire world in danger, more danger than it already is, of course. I know. I am grateful that you saved me. We'll now see that about I'm that. Back here, I know that staying would have been the wrong choice. Still, I don't regret doing what we did. It showed me something. I believe that concludes our business, does it not? Thank you again. Here, this is the least I can give you for your efforts. I will see you back at the temple. There's a lot that needs doing. So, we are basically here, left here with a device that could be used to solve the murder of Lashari, but we're apparently just going to leave it in this dusty little basement. Granted, it's not like anyone's going to actually be able to use it, considering how much power it requires, but what if they did? Frankly, they probably wouldn't, no one would even understand what this thing is or what it does, much less how to use it. So, leaving it isn't that much of an issue. 
right? Tell me I'm right. I can't see your face. There we go. Uh, yeah, so. I guess we're done with that then. Hmm. Huh. Most unexpected. So, not that, this one. Uh, the Necromancer. That's not what I wanted. There it is. So, yeah, Kermai. Recently burgled, motive. So, what do we need? Where do we need to go, I mean? There it is. Starship's Manufactory. Uh, <gasps> hey, we didn't move the mark, so we can go there right away. Oh, happy day. I wonder if I could have set a mark in the other eventuality. At the very least, it would have been a hilarious experiment. So we just need to get around here and then go up. Right. Hey, get back here. Where is, uh, there he is. Just doing absolutely nothing. That's right. Oh, nice moves. Good job, Pete. And so, as always, we disrespect the dead by... Also, why don't I have... Not you. I think I spent some of my memory points doing something. I think I put one into the armor tree. Heavy armor tree, naturally. I think I saw something over here. So, let's see. Pretzels. You know what? Well, we'll do that after we're done buffing ourselves. Also, in case you guys didn't see, I now have Spectral Chest Rank 3. So it now has a capacity of 110 weight. I have no idea what I'm going to do with that space, but probably just carry some... Well, I can't even use it in combat, so if I end up putting elemental weapons I might need in specific situations or against specific enemies, then I wouldn't be able to take it out if I don't know ahead of time that they're there. Nevertheless, we also want this. The one, the only. I have no idea what level summon he's going to be, so this is clearly not the path we need to take.
Aha. Uh, so. Yeah, this isn't going to fly either. Let's try this again. Okay, so we need to go north from here. Is there a faster way around, though? There's something I need for another quest, like, in this area somewhere. As a matter of fact, let's see. Should be... Come here. Yeah, not too far out. For now, I want to see if we can get here. By taking a more roundabout path. It seems like I need to go up the mountain either way. may unfortunately mean we need to go all the way around. <sighs> this was supposed to be easy. Hmm. Okay. Tell you what. I'm just going to cut out the travel between here and there, because screw having to deal with that noise. I mean, at least on your end. I'm going to have to put up with the, the walk there. Maybe I'll visit this place, too, so I can get that done and out of the way. I just want to see what comes of this quest. So, I'll see you guys once we finally figure out how to get here. You know, why not join me on this particular adventure? Uh, it's been a while since we've... Come on. Maybe if I just walk away from the door a little. Nope. Great. Just great. This one and you. And now we summon the world's deadliest piglet. That's not what I wanted, but it's what I got. By the way, for those curious, Bone Rippers result in Grand Souls if you use Soul Trap. I don't remember Cuthbert doing a single thing. Be that as it may, we move on. Let's go ahead and use... I did not rank up... I did not spend a point on ranking up Glacial Bomb because it's just... Uh, I don't think that's the best use of my points right now. So I'm holding on to the other... I'm holding on to my last point. Hopefully I figure out something good to do with it, or I'll just dump it into the heavy armor tree like I was going to. <clears throat> oh, what luck! There is a mage. I shielded first. Get out of my face! 
You're an archer. Get away from me. You could have helped. Not even bone meal. Thanks for nothing. Uh... Oh. 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 Okay. So I'll just go from the side then. Hopefully there's more to this dungeon than how linear, linear it appears to be right now. It's a four star, so there's that. Do I have a taxi or something? Probably check just to be safe. Nope. Just crippled mana regeneration. Yay. Oh, and I still have Rattle Gangrene. I don't think this is the one I took the potion in. I might have died on that save. Let's wait for that to go into effect. Okay. There we go. That's the way they probably want me to go, so we go this way instead. Wine and... Cuthbert, because why not? Ah, I, I see how this is. Yeah, if we screw this up, we die. Good to know. Please. Did you forget who I am? Kuthbert and... I keep saying Kuthbert. And then... I should probably be taking this more seriously given the size of this area. There is, what is this? Acid or poison? Or both? Oh! Hey there! Thanks for the help, Cuthbert. I, I keep doing it. It's Cuthbert. It's Cuthbert, not Cuthbert. Better keep an eye out for traps. Oh. Crap. I have to go back the other way then. Maybe. We'll see. Did we switch back to... Yeah. Oh, no. We're not doing this. Oh, 
Oh, that's what I spent the point on. I spent the point in heavy armor, the heavy armor tree that allows you that allows you to not take damage when you block an arrow, which I mean should have been a natural thing if you were facing it and not shot in the face or the foot. But I guess we needed a point for that for some reason. I'll take both of these. Just in case it's trapped. Yeah, I saw the bowl of salt there or whatever it may have been, but I don't really need it. Freaking your rattle gangrene, huh? So that's that. We did need to go this way. Which was kind of obvious. What the frick? Rattle me this, Batman. Apparently this guy was still alive somewhere and didn't manage to path his way here. Great. So let's see. This was here before. Better keep it on call because we're going to have to take that leap again. That's it.
Not like I care about that. Okay. I think I have the full tribunal set now with these gloves. I already have a bow like this. Well, no, not not an Eterna bow. Yeah, you can keep that. And this one. And while I didn't need it, what is this? And while I didn't need it, the the uh what the frick is the name of that thing? Glacial bomb. The glacial bomb was useful. Especially since the bastard was using what was it, ice? Hmm. Don't like that. But it made getting to him take that much longer and he could deal more damage to us. Yeah, too much could have gone right for this guy. Speaking of which. Arcane wall. Lightning. Places a shock barrier at the floor, which does 20 shock barrier damage per second. Hmm, not that good. You can get the... Yeah, I'm not going that way. You can get these potions from the... Alchemist, or the Apothecary, as they are called, in the Sun Temple. I don't know when I'm going to turn this in to the guy who wants it, but I'll get around to that eventually. Oh, I recognize this place. I didn't even notice this door up here, I don't think. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Wait. This is the way we went. This is the way we came from. Just had to make sure I don't like missing things. This way I never have to worry about needing to come back. And so I'm going to see you guys once we arrive at our you know, the destination where we should have been in the first place, but we'll see you then.
Well, that was a black myrid. Would have been nice if I had been able to tame the thing or something, but, uh... <gasps> Song of the Winter increases elementalism by 5%, frost spells do 10% more damage, and the chance to shadow frozen enemies when attacking them doubles. Yoink! Myrid Heart, no idea what it's going to be useful for, but taking it. Definitely doing that, and yeah, I'll just take all of that. And while I'm at it, for the mess you started, I declare us even. All I wanted was the stuff you had buried in your nest. I had no desire to fight whatsoever. Well, I guess all of the valuable stuff was on the Myrid. Too bad for it. Okay, that's enough of this little interlude. I'm just going to go ahead and get back to getting back to wherever the frick it is we need to go. Huh, so I think we have found the way there. I've been here before. I remember being here before. I think this place was locked with a key or something. For this reason, apparently. Nice. Hey there. Cool. Prophet, it's good to see that you're here. Oh, Just hey. Just follow the hallway down into the cave. That Starling Man is on the ship. Or whatever you want to call it. So, I personally have been playing this game for nearly three hours now. Uh, I have a bit of a problem. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Uh, it is not as ship-like as I was expecting it to be. Well, I mean, it is ship-like, but I was expecting it to look more like the other one we... I was expecting it to look more like the other one we've been on. Joke's on me, I guess. So, the reason we ended up fighting that black Myrid is because I thought... creatures, really. With enough of them, we could build another sun temple. Huh, probably. Still, it would be better if he used his machines to keep those Neremese fanatics out of our city. Trusting in the seal of a Neremese sinistrist. It's naive, if you ask me. Well, you can't say that it doesn't work. So far, if entropy is anything, it's unpredictable, Marek. Five out of every ten students do not live to see thirty winters. Ugh. Sounds like a them anyway, problem to me. Let's just hope that the Grandmaster knows what he's doing. This madness has to stop. I don't know what's with the sound of someone digging through the utensil drawer in their kitchen, but I really, I really would like for it to stop. What are we in here for? That's what I'm in here for. Uh, handicraft is at 
67, so I should be able to see at least what the... What was that? Something seven? Seriously. Um, here, the book. I just need the name. It's in S. Seven things. Oh, Handicraft 90. Well, I'm going to have to deal with that later. Where is that sound even coming from? It's everywhere. Ah, you. We were told you'd be coming. You're from Nerum as well, aren't you? Yeah. Why? Ah, just curious. They say the Starlings and Anku have built a similar ship. Did you know that? I'd really like to know if they've made it to the heavens. It's a fascinating piece of technology, it truly is. If only Lashari could see this. Yeah, if only we could find the person who murdered her. Ooh. I could have bought Spell Ward 6, but it doesn't give me the amount, an amount of armor worth actually buying. It's really expensive. I currently have the one I use, well, have but don't use, is capable of giving me a hundred and ten extra armor and resist a considerable amount of magic damage. But I don't use it. What he did ask for was a tube with a circumference of three fingers length. And does this look like three fingers length to you? Yeah. His thoughts exactly. Now bring him a new one. Chop chop. A welcome sight in dark times. He has not forgotten what you have done for him. Welcome, friend. Hey. You know, I was told you needed help finishing your, uh... Ship? Material, not help. To be honest, with all those brutes hammering on Gertrude right now, he is more concerned for her well-being than for his own need to be helped out. I, I get we can easily surmise that Gertrude is the name of his ship. But you will take us on the expedition as soon as she's ready to fly, right? That's the deal, yes. Even though he wonders what you hope to find up there. Anyway, enough talk. They say you are quite skilled in finding things. And there are things that need to be found to finish Gertrude. Sakabaku copper alloys and a Pyrian crystal cube. Find them. The sooner the better. Okay, but where am I supposed to find these things? Well, that's the challenge. The alloys can probably be found in one of the old Starling mines in the Powder Desert. The Crystal Cube. That's a bit more complicated. But as far as he knows, you might find one in Thalgard. In the time of the expansion, there was a famous Starling tinkerer working under Dalmarak, and he must have used similar cubes in his work. Huh. Here, I'll mark both locations on your map. Please, don't die. <laughs> that would be most unpleasant. Ah, and one of the Arcanists was so kind as to put a teleport rune in the cave. So you can use this scroll to return here. And now, excuse him. There's a lot to do, and uh, Gertrude does not like to be kept waiting. OK. 
Okay. Oh, Lord. Our potion has run out. Ooh, and we are super, super overweight. So, I'm going to figure out how to deal with that. You guys, well, you're going to have to find something else to watch because we're done for today. Again, I've been recording for probably two and a half to three hours, so I'd like to get away from this game. I am going to have to come back today, though, and get this stuff out of my inventory so we can run again. I don't want to spend any more potions on this. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves and everything you've seen here. I know it was a little, uh... Hmm. I don't want to say inconsistent. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense in this context. But there are going to be some jump cuts here and there. I'm going to do my best to make sure that they feel as fluid as possible, but I can't promise anything. I did do a lot of stuff in between. I checked uh, the mines near here. I don't know what the name of the place was. Yep, we've also been inside of old Askamon. That's the thing the guy needed us to check, and we're going to take that thing back to him later. Where was the other place? Ah, yes, the powder mines. I ended up all the way over here because I got turned around and didn't bother to check the map because... <laughs> screw it, right? Also, where does... Oh, wow, that is pretty far up there. Oh, wow, that is... Crap, I should have put, the, put a mark outside of this place. I'm going to have to walk all the way outside again and leave a mark and then teleport to Ark so I can drop all of this stuff and sell what I need to sell and so on and so forth. Anyway, I did a lot of wandering in between that, which is why I don't want to search for those things in this, vi in this video. This guy's name is disgusting. Imagine having a last name like... Kazor Tatakajep. Anyway. <laughs> we will be back with more Enderal tomorrow, as usual. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. I'm going to try and come back today. It's... Uh, tomorrow I have work, and... I don't like to do too much stuff before then, because... I hate it. So... I'm going to try and come back and at least get my inventory sorted out, at a minimum. So, we can get on to finding the things our buddy Kermai here needs to get Gertrude airborne. And so, with all that said, we will see you next time. You'll never see